Just after the attack, U.S. Africa Command said U.S. troops were providing advice and assistance to local counterparts. Later, it would become clear that those troops, the 11-man Operational Detachment Alpha Team 30-12, were working out of the town of Olam with a larger Nigerian force under the umbrella of Operation Juniper Shield, a wide-ranging counter-terrorism effort in northwest Africa. Juniper Shield and Obsidian Nomad 2 were not isolated efforts but part of a panoply of named military operations and activities U.S. forces have been conducting from dozens of bases across the northern tier of Africa. Many of these operations are taking place in countries that the U.S. government does not recognize as combat zones, but in which U.S. troops are nonetheless fighting and, in several cases, taking casualties. Between 2013 and 2017, U.S. Special Operations Forces saw combat in at least 13 African countries, according to retired Army Brigadier General Don Bolduc, who served at U.S. Africa Command from 2013 to 2015 and then headed Special Operations Command Africa until 2017. Those countries, according to Bolduc, are Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Central African Republic, Chad, Democratic Republic of Congo, Kenya, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Niger, Somalia, South Sudan, and Tunisia. He added that U.S. troops have been killed or wounded in action in at least six of them, Kenya, Libya, Niger, Somalia, South Sudan, and Tunisia. News Pulse News has put together a list of three dozen such operations across the continent. The codenamed operations cover a variety of different military missions, ranging from psychological operations to counterterrorism. Eight of the named activities, including Obsidian Nomad, are so-called 127E programs, named for the budgetary authority that allows U.S. Special Operations Forces to use certain host nation military units as surrogates in counterterrorism missions. Used extensively across Africa, 127E programs can be run either by Joint Special Operations Command, JSOC, the secretive organization that controls the Navy's SEAL Team 6, the Army's Delta Force and other special mission units, or by Theater Special Operations Forces. These programs are specifically designed for us to work with our host nation partners to develop small anywhere between 80 and 120 personnel counterterrorism forces that we're partnered with, said Bolduc. They are specially selected partner nation forces that go through extensive training with the same equipment we have, to specifically go after counterterrorism targets, especially high-value targets. Using documents obtained via the Freedom of Information Act, interviews, published reports and a Defense Department list of named U.S. military operations that leaked online, News Pulse News put together the following list of 36 operations and activities that are, or were until recently, ongoing in Africa. Where possible, News Pulse News has also listed the bases that support these operations, relying mostly on information sheets about those locations obtained via the Freedom of Information Act. News Pulse News does not claim that this list is comprehensive. While the Defense Department has acknowledged the names, locations, and purposes of some of these operations, others are far lower profile. Almost all are unknown to the general public, bases used unknown echo casemate, this operation covers a series of activities in the Central African Republic. It began in 2013 as a support mission for French and African forces deployed to the troubled Central African Republic for peacekeeping purposes and continued as an advise and assist mission to those African peacekeeping forces. However, U.S. forces neither accompanied their partners in the field nor formally trained them. The operation also covered the introduction of contractors and marines to secure the U.S. Embassy in Bangui and the deployment of a small U.S. Special Operations contingent to assist the U.S. Ambassador in missions to counter the Lord's Resistance Army. In the first days of the operation, the U.S. military airlifted hundreds of Burundian troops, tons of equipment and more than a dozen military vehicles into the Central African Republic, according to AFRICOM. The U.S. military continued transporting French forces in and out of the Central African Republic, and the mission was still underway in early 2018. Base used, Abij, Chad Exile Hunter, 
one of a family of similarly named counterterrorism efforts that U.S. Special Operations Forces have conducted in East Africa. Exile Hunter was a 127E program in which elite U.S. troops trained and equipped an Ethiopian force for counterterrorism missions in Somalia. Bolduc says he shut it down in 2016 because the Ethiopian government was uncomfortable about the force not falling under its command. However, a February 2018 Defense Department list of named operations suggests it had been resurrected. Bases used, Kemp Lemonye, Djibouti bases used, Fahalarjo and Anjamana, Chad, Air Base 201, Agadez, Niger Base used, Dakar, Senegal Junction Serpent, a surveillance effort in Libya that, as part of the 2016 campaign of airstrikes against Islamic State positions in the Libyan city of Sirte, gave Joint Special Operations Command specific authorities to coordinate assets in order to develop targeting information for the campaign bases used, unknown Juniper Micron, in 2013, after France launched a military intervention against Islamists in Mali codenamed Operation Serval, the U.S. began Operation Juniper Micron, which involved airlifting French soldiers and supplies into that former French colony, flying refueling missions in support of French air power, and assisting Allied African forces. Juniper Micron was ongoing as of October 2018, with plans for it to continue in the future. Bases used, Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso, Istras LE Tube Air Base, France, Bamako and Gao, Mali, Air Base 201, Agadez, Arlet, Durkau, Madama and Niamey, Niger, Dakar, Senegal Juniper Nimbus, Juniper Nimbus is a long-running operation aimed at supporting the Nigerian military campaign against Boko Haram. Bases used, Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso, Anjamana, Chad, Arlet, Durkau and Madama, Niger Juniper Shield, the umbrella operation for the mission that resulted in the deadly ambush in Niger. Juniper Shield is the United States centerpiece counterterrorism effort in northwest Africa and covers 11 nations Algeria, Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Chad, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Nigeria, Senegal, and Tunisia. Under Juniper Shield, U.S. teams rotate in every six months to train, advise, assist, and accompany local partner forces to conduct operations against terrorist groups, including ISIS West Africa, Boko Haram, and Al-Qaeda, and its affiliates. Bases used, Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso, Gerwa and Mara'a, Cameroon, Bangui, Central African Republic, Fahalarjo and Anjamana, Chad, Bamako and Gao, Mali, Nima and Wasa, Mauritania, Air Base 201, Agadez, Arlet, Diffa, Durkau, Madama and Niamey, Niger, Dakar, Senegal Jupiter Garrett, a JSOC operation aimed at high-value targets in Somalia, Jupiter Garrett first came to light in a 2012 Washington Post article. It was ongoing, as of February 2018 bases used, Kemp Lemonye and Chebeli, Djibouti, Lake Ipia, Manda Bay and Wajir, Kenya. Baidoa, Baildogal, Bosaso, Gaokayo, Kismayo, and Mogadishu, Somalia justified seamount, another counter-piracy effort in the waters off East Africa bases used, Chebeli, Djibouti, Lake Ipia, Mombasa, and Wajir, Kenya, Victoria, Seychelles, Baidoa, Baildogal, Kismayo, and Mogadishu, Somalia Kodiak Hunter, A127E program in which U.S. special operators trained and equipped a Kenyan force to conduct counterterrorism missions in Somalia base used, Kemp Lemonye, Djibouti, Manda Bay, Kenya Mongoose Hunter, A127E program in which U.S. Special Operations Forces trained and equipped a Somali force for counterterrorism missions against Al-Shabaab base used, Kemp Lemonye, Djibouti, Baildogal, Somalia bases used, Kemp Lemonye, Djibouti, Libreville, Gabon, Accra, Ghana, Dakar, Senegal, Entebbe, Uganda Nimble Shield, a low-profile effort targeting Boko Haram and ISIS. West Africa bases used, Douala, Gerwa and Mara'a, Cameroon, Bangui, Central African Republic, Anjamana, Chad, Diffa, Durkau, Madama and Niamey, Niger Okan Sonnet III, a series of three contingency operations in South Sudan.
Okan Sonnet I was the difficult 2013 rescue of U.S. personnel from that country at the beginning of its civil war. Okan Sonnet II took place in 2014 and Okan Sonnet III in 2016. Base used, Juba, South Sudan bases used, Kemp Lemonye, Djibouti, Moran Air Base, Spain, Entebbe, Uganda bases used, Gerwa and Mara, Cameroon, Bangui, Central African Republic, Abach, Fahalarjo and Anjamana, Chad, Bamako and Gao, Mali, Nima and Wasa, Mauritania, Air Base 201, Agadez, Arlet and Madama, Niger, Dakar, Senegal, Entebbe, Uganda Oblique Pillar, a program to provide private contractor helicopter support to Navy SEAL advised units of the Somali National Army Fighting Al. Shabaab in Somalia. The operation was in existence as of February 2018. Bases used, Kemp Lemonye, Djibouti, Mombasa and Wajir, Kenya, Baidoa, Baildogal, Kismayo and Mogadishu, Somalia, and Tebi, Uganda. Bases used, OBO, Central African Republic, Abach, Chad, Dung, Democratic Republic of Congo, Juba and Anzara, South Sudan, and Tebi, Uganda Obsidian Lotus, A-127E activity concentrated on Libya, in which U.S. commandos trained and equipped Libyan Special Operations Forces battalions. One of those units ended up under the control of renegade warlord General Khalifa Haftar, according to Bulldog. Bases used, unknown Obsidian Mosaic, A-127E counterterrorism effort focused on Mali. Bases used, unknown. Obsidian Nomad I and II, to 127E counterterrorism programs in Niger, Obsidian Nomad I in Diffa and Obsidian Nomad II in Arlet. The operational name emerged in the wake of the October 2017 ambush in Niger that killed four U.S. soldiers. Bases used, Arlet and Diffa, Niger Octave Anchor, a psychological operation focused on Somalia bases used, Kemp Lemonye, Djibouti, Mogadishu, Somalia Octave Shield, an Africa Command psychological operation focused on Somalia, carried out under the aegis of Combined Joint Task Force Horn of Africa, based at Camp Lemonye in Djibouti. Bases used, Camp Lemonye and Chebeli, Djibouti, Lake Ipia, Manda Bay, Mombasa and Wajir, Kenya, Victoria, Seychelles, Bay Doa, Baildogal, Bosaso, Gaokayo, Kismayo and Mogadishu, Somalia, and Tebi. Uganda. Octave Soundstage, a JSOC psychological operation focused on Somalia. Bases used, unknown Octave Stingray, a JSOC psychological operation focused on Somalia base used, Mogadishu, Somalia Octave Summit, a JSOC psychological operation focused on Somalia base used, Kemp Lemonye, Djibouti Odyssey Lightning, the campaign of special operations directed airstrikes against Islamic State targets in CERT, Libya, between August and December 2016 base used, Naval Air Station, Sigonella, Italy Odyssey Resolve, another component of the 2016 special operations campaign of airstrikes against the Islamic State in the Libyan city of CERT, Operation Odyssey Resolve consists of intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance flights. It was ongoing as of February 2018. Bases used, Ouagadougou, Burkina Faso, Fahalarjo, Chad, Benina and Misrata, Libya, Bamako and Gao, Mali, Nima and Wasa, Mauritania, Arlet and Niamey, Niger, Dakar, Senegal, Bizerta, Tunisia, and Tebi, Uganda Paladin Hunter, A-127E counterterrorism program in the semi-autonomous Puntland region of Somalia. Bases used, Kemp Lemonye, Djibouti, Bosaso and Gaokayo, Somalia Rainmaker, a highly sensitive classified signals intelligence effort bases used, Chebeli, Djibouti, Baidoa, Baildogal, Kismayo and Mogadishu, Somalia Ultimate Hunter, A-127E counterterrorism program using a, equipped and directed Ugandan force in Somalia. Bases used, Kemp Lemonye, Djibouti. Asterisk information on which operations the following bases support was partially redacted, Douala, Gerwa and Mara, Al Cameroon, Anjamana, Chad, Bangui, Central African Republic, 
Difa, Durkau, Madama, and Niamey, all Niger. The list of operations supported by Tobruk and Tripoli, both Libya, was fully redacted. Other data were likely withheld completely.